Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today I just wanted to answer some questions about a topic that I get asked all the time. This is a very common question that I get asked about screen printing t-shirts with Plastisol textile inks. Okay, so this is specifically about Plastisol textile inks. I am often asked, probably almost weekly to daily, if it's possible to cure Plastisol textile inks with a heat gun. Okay, a heat gun is just a simple little device that you can get from a home improvement store and you plug it into an AC 110, you know, 115, 110 outlet, 15 amp, regular household operated device. This is often used in craft crafts or crafting and uh, it's used for stripping paints and stripping lacquers and it's used for a lot of different odds and ends jobs around the house and stuff. So the heat gun is readily available to many people who screen print. As you know with Plastisol textile screen printing inks it is mandatory and critical that the entire ink layer, the entire printed volume of Plastisol ink must reach 330 degrees Fahrenheit for up to one minute before the ink will absolutely cure fully. It's critical. The time and the temperature is critical. Plastisol inks will crack, peel, or wash out if they are not cured properly. So, people want to know, can you cure Plastisol inks with a heat gun? The answer is, quite frankly, yes. It is possible to cure Plastisol textile inks with a heat gun. And I have to stress the word possible, okay? Because yes, a lot of people use a heat gun. And there are several screen printing kits that come with just a heat gun. And in fact, I have maybe one or two of them myself. However, I really recommend at the minimum of using a flash cure unit to cure your inks. And here's why. Most of the time when we're screen printing t-shirts, we have a very large design that might be on one side of the shirt, the front or back, and then maybe a small design that could be over the crest or in a pocket like this, okay? So the problem really becomes more on the larger designs. The smaller designs are gonna be easier to cure with a heat gun because it's a smaller design. So you can more easily, that's not, that's not, Grammar, that's not grammatically correct, more easily. You can, you can, <laughs> you can cure a smaller print easier than you can a larger print. A larger design is gonna be a lot more challenging to cure with a, with a flash, uh, a um, heat gun, okay? Because you have to basically move around this whole printed area surface and you have to ensure that each portion of the screen printed ink of the ink the printed volume of ink that's on the shirt is reaching 330 degrees Fahrenheit for you know up to a minute it you know the timing really depends on what kind of heat you're applying and the heat situation okay so it could be uh, 30 seconds it could be 45 seconds it could be a full minute okay and that will also depend on the volume of ink that you print on here. Obviously, printing black ink on a white t-shirt, you can cure pretty easily with, with a uh, heat gun. But white ink on a black t-shirt is probably going to be a lot more challenging because you just don't have the ability to be consistent in your motion. So you may find that parts of the design will wash out and others don't. And that's because you just weren't able to consistently cure the entire design. Okay, so, so yes, you can, but no, I don't suggest it. So I personally suggest getting a flash cure unit. If you buy a kit that starts out with a heat gun, that may be fine to, to kind of get rolling and, and, and do some hobby work and get, you know, get familiar with the process. But if you're going to sell product commercially to a customer, a consumer, you're going to want to make sure that your Plastisol ink does not wash out. That's very embarrassing. You don't want to print a bunch of shirts and send them out and have them come back because the ink washed out. That is very embarrassing and that customer is likely to not come back to you again in the future. Okay, one of the other things really quick about using a heat gun to cure inks is that 
it's very easy to burn the shirt. And on shirts that are dark or colored, you may burn the shirt and not even know it. And what happens when you do that is the shirt actually becomes very weak and it can tear easily. So when you're curing with a heat gun and you get too close to the fabric, it's, it's very likely that you're scorching the fabric or you're burning the fabric. And you're only going to be able to really see that on a white t-shirt. On darker garments, you may not see that until the customer comes back with holes in the shirts. And believe me you, that's not what you want to happen. So, the question is, can I cure plastisol inks with a heat gun? The answer is, yes, you can, but I do not necessarily suggest it. For a hobby situation, it may be fine. For commercial situations, I do not think it's a good idea. And um, that's it. I think that's all we can say about it. It's very inconsistent. It's not easy to do without burning the garment. It's not easy to do uh, while ensuring that every part of the design is absolutely 100% cured. It's just inconsistent at best. So, uh, although it is possible, and I know there are many of you who do it, it's not something that I recommend on a commercial level. All right, that's enough for today. I think I babbled on long enough about uh, flash curing with a heat gun or curing with a heat gun. I don't mean to confuse the words and get you all confused and stuff, but uh, curing plastisol inks with a heat gun, I think that's it. We've, we've, we've uh, you know, beaten a dead horse now. All right, that's enough for today. Everybody, please remember, if you like what you see, please rate thumbs up comment below, and of course subscribe. If you like what you see, you like my screen printing videos and you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to visit catspitscreenprintsupply.com for all your screen printing equipment and supply needs. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.